the hell's happened here? Were you attacked? Other way round. It were Blackbeard who struck first. Opened fire on a British man of war, the pillock. What in God's name for? Still searching for medicines. But he's gone bar me, if you ask me. I'll bring him home. Leave him, man. He's heaped this trouble on himself. Give me some speed! Ground on every inch of sail! Captain, there's a wreck yonder. Looks recent. I see it. Let's hope Thatch hasn't come to the same end. Another bit of wreckage, Captain. This is looking grim. Aye. Keep your eyes peeled. Shumpanza. Blast. This is getting well out of hand. A dozen crates of medicine should not be so hard to come. That ain't my meaning. It's Thatch and Hornigold and this pointless feud of theirs. Can't you feel it? I do, I. But both men have their hearts in a good place. Both want the best for the people of Nassau. But is that the best course for us? Saving a city that ain't worth much. We're not men made to govern. We take and spend and live harder wherever we go. What solution would you propose? The answer's in wealth and power, not politics. If we found the observatory, We'd see enough money to buy the whole thing, or it might be we'd lord over these kings and emperors like oh, famous yeah. peasants themselves. A lot of large talk, Captain. But is it your crew you sail for? Yes, sir. I mean the best for these men, are they? I do. But this don't sit right. I think I'm running errands, not living my life. He's off the way!这敌人的走位每次都很不一样哇落的水的船员在后面我懒得回去了也没办法回去了是右边吗这里吗是不是啊牛牛王哈阿德 完了又得下水了天啊又得下水了我应该把船停在这旁边的了保护黑脖子上来对就是这样你们你们你们你们你们你们你们你们你们你们你们你们你们你们你们你们你们你们你们你们你们你们你们你们你们你们你们你们你们
reappeared. Heads up. Pack the moisture. Look as you please. She'll not slip away now. Oh, this is too much. I'll see you back to your jackdaw when the smoke is clear. But for now, I need a helmsman. Call it out. Close the mains. And head straight for that bloody ship. We'll have our medicines and little time at all. 我们要炸了他吗？还是跟踪？看样子是要炸了。Bear down on our Kenway. 吓得死的黑胡子的船。黑胡子直的船可以连发好多次啊 You'll be hanged and sun-dried, just as them there were in Boston. The king's called for a pardon. <laughs> Captain, we've searched the hold. It's a middle intake. But the medicine we found bears a Charles Town stamp. Thank you, Mr. Hans. We cannot resupply Nassau out here by force and accident alone. We should go to Charlestown for the lot. I fear I am not built for the fatigue and care required to live as a man of fortune. Me, me in Charlestown. One month from today. Flag at last. Yes, yes. Blackbeard cut me loose. Sadly, time to have a go at this myself. Well, that's grand. Yes, it's for the best. I think I should have some wild stories when next we meet. Edward, your constant friendship has been my most treasured find on these seas. Well above gold and silver and rum, I, I prize the courage you have inspired in me this year. Thank you, sir. A fair good morrow to you. Disinterest in your well-being. Hostages for medicines. These were my only terms. Yeah. 
six days of pure fucking sight. for chum and your bones for chum. By Christ! This is my predicament. Kill you. Or to press you into my servant. It's a decision I'll make hardly, but not with remorse. Ahoy, oh, Edward. What the hell are you doing, man? All of Charleston can see this mess. It's the idea. Out of range, but well in sight. So where's the medicine? We sent a party ashore to partner with the governor. That were a week ago. No noise, he says. I'll handle it. Give me a day. There's movement up ahead. Is it soldiers? I am in something of a hurry. I propose we follow, else they spring something we ain't ready for. What's your thinking? Blackbeard's been at this eight days already. So it's a good bet that someone out there has prepared the medicines. Just in case. Ah, but they're stalling. Thinking up ways to avoid paying it out. Aye, so let's find where they've gathered and hope for the best. Captain, we're drifting close to a watchtower. We're half sail, Captain. Speed will do us no favors here. Careful with the banks. We cannot pass them undetected, Captain. And there is no other way. There's always another way. All stop! See them, over there. Let us 
Fulby River remains this wide. The ship's built for the open ocean, not stalking by the sea. If we run aground here, we may never get out. I'm sure they don't spy us trailing them. Steady as she goes, Captain. Syphilis and scurvy, no doubt. What noxious choppings these pirate ships must be. What was that? It was a crocodile, wasn't it? It's coming straight for us. I can feel it. Then speed along, you're expected, and you know how. Ah, oh, Christ! He took him! He took him! I told you!
There was an accident. Private Simon. This, this crocodile. I don't care about your accidents. What's the word from the harbor soldier? Speak. No change, sir. They're holding fast, but are yet to kill or maim any of the captives, near as we can tell. Perhaps it's time to... To surrender? I've been entrusted with the affairs of the town, and I do not intend to bow to the demands of Iris, no matter how fierce his reputation. Yes, sir. As long as the supply key is with me, no man shall touch that medicine. May plague and calamity strike them all. Bloody idiot. What? Pirates! The ship's here! Pirates! Fall back to the mansion! Stop him! Alarm! Rouse yourselves, you dullards! Do something, you fools! Devils! Ah! Blackbeard made you as good an offer as ever a man got from any pirate. You might curse his methods, but medicine was all he wanted. And now he'll get it. You should have bartered, mate. He has returned, Captain! What's the take? Two crates. And the means for mixing additional doses. Uh, that's right thinking. Precious little of that these days. You hear that, Mr. Rax? My young friend returns with offerings and so saves your scrawny neck. Will you not think? You should quit these waters, Thatch. The governor, he's bound to muscle more soldiers. You go on ahead. I, I got some business in the north. You're done, aren't you? Giving up on us. On NASA. Look, lad. I'm late into my fourth decade on this earth. And if I don't find some means to make the fifth quiet and cozy voyage, I'd rather sink to the devil's doorstep than call myself captain. Another year. Now we'll meet again, lad. In this world. Or the one below. He's waiting for us. I just watched some of your footage from this week. It's amazing. Blackbeard was mental. And we all got so excited that we started talking about this idea for a trailer about him. Maybe start with him drinking, talking to some pirates, telling a story. Then? We cut to him leaping across the deck of his boat and, sorry, his ship, not boat, but jumping around the deck of his ship, swinging from ropes and fighting like a devil. 
I mean, obviously, we're gonna have to manipulate some of the existing footage to get it looking good, but it could be great. I'm getting a shower in my timbers just thinking about it. <laughs> Sorry. Bonjour, ça va? I hope we're not late. No, you can go right. I'm Melania, so you just walked in. I need a few minutes with you alone. Leticia is on the phone and we're discussing the Kenway project. Oh, yes, of course. Sorry about this. I'll call you when we're ready. Shouldn't be long. Hello? Hello? Do you have a second? Of course you do. Head to the waypoint on your map. I have another job for you. I'd like to link all the cameras in the building to a central monitoring system, but most aren't calibrated correctly. Another locked door. Not a problem. Voila! You now have level two security clearance. Now, I'll update your communicator. You need to find the right combination of numbers to adjust the wave. Easy enough, right? Pick a number selector, then change its value. Once you find the right combination of numbers, you should get access.
sneaky bastard. A pirate through and through, ain't you? Now, get down to the lobby. There's a courier waiting. Yeah, that's right. I've been planning this for a few hours. Now, wait. The receptionist. Hold on. I'll try something. As gullible as ever. Now, hurry down to the lobby before I remotely detonate your earpiece. <laughs> Don't even think about ratting me out. My tracks are covered. Yours ain't. Did you uh, like the allonge? I practice. I think you pulled it a little too long. Oh, come on! It's not encrypted code, for God's sakes. It's just a bloody coffee. Oh, hooray! It's our old friend. Hey there! I just got a call about picking up another transfer. Oh? You said you were here to see me. Yes, that is one of the perks. Let's see it. Hmm. A conference in Chicago. Very nice. Thanks for this. We'll be in touch. Ciao, Rebecca. Text me. Stuff it, Hastings. Well done, friend. Very well done. Apologies for my temper tantrum there. You are with the good guys, I promise. We'll keep you safe. Trust me. Go on back to work. We'll be in touch. I have an awful feeling about this. You'll be hurt out there. I couldn't handle that. I'll be careful, I promise. And when I'm flush with coin and set up, I'll send for you. I will. Caroline, come away! Don't exert yourself! I can't promise I'll come, Edward. If you leave on this fool's errand, I, I cannot promise anything. Don't give up on me, Caroline! Not when I need your faith the most. Putting some shape to your sentiments? Just a short letter home. I reckon she's past caring anyway. Oh, you're a hard heart that should be softer. Or soft in parts that should be hard. <laughs> and how is it you're so keen for his hard parts, Mr. Rackham? You'd like to know my secrets, would you? Oh, aye. Give me a small hint, like. Or a large one, if you're an upright gentleman. Open your hand. Oh. Who's shooting? Might be them ships sliding into port. Jesus. And we dance this round and round and round to that.
Well, I'll be hanged. George has grown tired of our shenanigans. Who's the grim fella? That's Captain Woods Rogers. Not a man I want seeing my face. We desire a parley with the men who call themselves governors of this island. Charles Vane, Ben Hornigold, and Ed Thatch. Come forth, if you please. Hear about the King's pardon, I reckon. What the hell is Hornigold doing? <sighs> Any living punk! What are you men up to? I am grateful for your geniality, Captain Hornigold. I assumed our reception would be a troubled one. Don't mistake my decorum for deference, Governor. I'm eager to hear what you have to say. But I'm on sorry to mind otherwise. Very well put. And it's a fairy thing that I expect to see from any pirate. But I promise that the fool will hear me out. Only wait a while longer, Governor Rogers. These rascals will show their true colors in time. Calm, Commodore. <laughs> I have given Captain Hornigold my word that we will be equitable. Won't do you a little good. Men like him are a blight on His Majesty's reputation and a peculiar cancer afflicting the new world. The King wants them eradicated, above all else. Is this the town square? As close to one as we've ever had. Incredible. It's no cleaner than a dog's kennel. Captain Hornigold, please call your men. Rackham, Vane, the governor's come calling. Bring Burgess and Cochrane as well. Man out, lads, and take this shanty town as if it were your own. Governor, you're here at his pleasure. I have my methods, Commodore, and I expect you to honor them to the letter. <sighs> it's fast, a lot of you. Make way for the king's emissaries. to go about their usual business. Go on, move! Go! Commodore Chamberlain, we see that all merchants, masons, and carpenters are rounded up and brought to me this afternoon. We must see about repairing this fortress. We should be confiscating weapons, Governor. Send these pirates a clear, strong message that the King's emissaries are not to be trifled with. I have no wish to stir up animosity here, Commodore. No well armed. We are outnumbered by a decent margin. Slow persuasion is our best and most efficient weapon. Quaddle, Governor! We should sink every goddamn ship not flying the king's colors. But do otherwise protect the certain weakness in our bearings. Try this, Commodore! I am a goddamn governor here, serving as a king, and I will make the bloody decision. Is that clear, sir? Aye, sir. Your wishes are clear as crystal. Rogers believes he can make men of these monkeys yet. I do not. Return to your post and await my orders.
at sea, and all our governors and commanders of any fort, castles, or other places in our plantation, and all our officers, civil and military, to seize and take such of the pirates who shall refuse or neglect to surrender themselves accordingly. I pray you take the prudent course, gentlemen, and accept the king's pardon as soon as your hearts allow. For until such time, all of you will be confined in the south. 
I am sorry for this. But in lieu of a public trial, this pardon is your best bet. The governor puts it far too brightly, maggots. Take this message home. Accept the king's protection forthwith, or we will raise this town to its foundation and stretch your bloody necks. Peace, Commodore Chamberlain. We are messengers, not executioners. Not yet. Oh, thank you, sir. God save you. Look on this as a stroke of fortune, lads. We should take the King's pardon and salvage what dignity we Pits. own. I'll be hanged before I surrender to that bobbin. Check your head, Vane. We had here a rare opportunity, a chance to take something base and shape it into a government made and maintained by men of vision. But in two years, we pissed it away. I won't make that mistake again. It's truth is telling, and you whelps can't handle it. A Jew, you folks all headed fuddlers. See you at the gallows. You'll all be dead, men! Bastards! I need a drink.